welcome back to Rupert's break from reality. Isn't that stunning behind me? It's just a temple in the middle of the street. Looks beautiful, but up, doesn't it? And that uh, pink thing, the pink topped building, is a fort. Eight sided fort. Let's just look at the temple then, because. That is pretty spectacular. I hope you'll agree. And welcome back to Rupert's Break from Reality, where you find me standing outside a hotel. This is the Oriental Hotel, now known as the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. And this was the hotel that James Bond and Mary Goodnight stayed in, in uh, The Man with the Golden Gun. Forgot. Um, impressive I'm not sure I'm supposed to be here but I just did that usual tourist thing of just wandering around like you're supposed to be there and no one stopped me so far but the day is yet young I might see if I can get some food and welcome back to Rupert's break from reality where you find me still in Bangkok but on Sukhumvit Road which uh, is actually the latest in uh, in my little tour of uh, James Bond locations, specifically Man with the Golden Gun, or The Man with the Golden Gun. Um, around here was the AMC dealership that, uh, that Bond takes a car from in his chase for Scaramanga, and obviously picks up Sheriff J.W. Pepper um, along the way. Uh, but the, uh, the AMC dealership, well, actually it never existed because they never sold those cars there but the building that uh, housed or stood in for the uh, location doesn't exist either. So this is a very pretty park and that is Sukhumvit Road where he stole the car or took the car, stole the car and then went on his little chase to try and find Scaramanga. Now, coincidentally, this is also the center of the red light district in uh, Bangkok. Now, in the interest of research, solely in the interest of research, I will explore the area and report back later. Just research. This is what I do for you, the viewer. I put it, I put my soul out there, all for you guys. Just for you. Welcome back. I'm outside Nana Plaza. Part of the red light district. Research purposes only, you understand. So Nana Plaza is part of the red light district here in Bangkok. And it sort of suffers from the same thing that most red light districts have, which is, there's no chase. There's no thrill of the chase. Everything's there on a plate, which is a little bit seedy, a little bit depressing, and frankly, not really for me. But entertaining if you're into that kind of thing. Now, this is more my kind of thing, looking for the bridge that James Bond did the car jump over. That was as close as I could find. And welcome back to Rupee's Break from Reality, where you find me here. Ooh. There you go, the Muang Baron Ancient City Museum, which is a museum that's shaped like Thailand. And uh, you, can, um, you can drive around, you can get a bus around, you can get a golf cart around, or you can do what I'm doing, cycling. Yeah, that's right. I've not been on a bike for a very long time. But you know what they say, you never forget. Um, but it's very pretty, very, very pretty around here. And very, very calm, unlike the hustle and bustle of downtown Bangkok, which I love. Um, this is, oh, it's just very, very calm. Just wandering around on my bike, which is very, very unsteady. Um, nothing to do with me, obviously, I'm gonna blame it on the tool, but I'm looking, I'm looking for a uh, high fats fighting score. If you know, you know. 
it's around here somewhere. And welcome back to Rupert's Break from Reality, where you join me on a bike, a bicycle. Yes, as if wandering 10, 15, 20 kilometers a day and losing weight, which is a good thing. Wasn't enough. I'm uh, on a bike today. Nice views, huh? I'm at the, um, the Mwang Barok, Baron, even, museum. The reason I'm here is because it's the latest, the latest in the uh, Bond tour um, thing. Because the, uh, the fighting school, if you know the man with the golden gun, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, that's one of the buildings here. And this is a museum dedicated to the treasures of Thailand, including things like this. It's quite impressive, isn't it? There's a car behind me. Maybe, maybe I should stop, but I'll be back. Don't you worry. See you later. I do feel a little bit like I'm wandering through Scaramanga's uh, little compound. It's very impressive. But instead of uh, you looking at me, how about I turn the camera around so that you can see some of what I'm looking at. It's very impressive. Oof. Oh my gosh, I'm steady on a bike as I used to be. As if I was ever that steady. Prime athlete that I am. <clears throat> See, with my limited camera ability, this is about as close to a tracking shot as we're ever going to get. Mm. Now, these statues look a little bit like the ones that uh, the James Bond wandered past in uh, Man of Golden Gun <coughs> in Scaramanga's uh, palace, but I'm reasonably sure none of these are going to come to life and attack me. You never know, but I'm reasonably confident. And I suppose I should show you my uh, my steed. Look at that. What a magnificent beast that is. And then, look at this. We have some elephants. They're not real. Pretty sure. Right, that's enough of me anyway. You should just enjoy the sights. I've checked. There's no knick-knack. Welcome back. And this is it. This is the Druravit house, which is uh, <coughs> in the museum. And this was the location for the fighting school. I'm not entirely sure where they would have fought. But this looks as good a place as any. Ooh, look at that. Lots of rippers. This really is a beautiful place. And I'm gonna need to watch the film again just to see which bits of this I can recognize. I'm in a tuk tuk. Could I be any more cliche as a tourist? Oh, good lord. I'm going to pay attention to where we're going. Because the drivers here are mad. Mad. Mad, mad, mad. Feel 
the urge to say, step on it. Not literally. And I didn't even bring my tennis racket. Oh well. Oh, and I'm not throwing a load of money out of the bag. 